So this is where it all began almost 46 years ago. London, Ontario, Canada. Ah, the hospital I was born in, St. Joseph's of London. See, my mother was a nurse. She was working there at the time. She, had, of course, had to take time off. My children subsequently were born years later in the same hospital as my I was conceived on Christmas Eve, 1960. And then this is where I was taken home to, to live for the first two years of my life. An older street. And when I was two years old, I lived here. This is where the first time I almost lost my life. When I was found at the bottom of the neighborhood pool, which is right back behind that fence. There I am in front of those same bricks in 19, almost 1963 with my dad. We're coming upon the house I lived in from 1965 to 1971. Had a huge backyard, didn't have the garage back then. Was near many grown-in abandoned gravel pits. There was so much places to play and so much fun and so many memories. There I was, age four, when I moved into that place. My talent started to build and in 1969 when I was eight years old this was my very first go-kart made with old baby buggy wheels and wood in the front yard of the house you just saw aren't I a cutie this is a school I went to in the 1960s Hillcrest Public School the only difference now to then is they've made the windows smaller to save energy townhouses I lived in the summer of 1971 in that very door and here I am sitting on the front yard of these buildings in July of 1971 with my pet rabbit And this is the street I lived on from 1971 till 1978. Decent homes in a middle class neighborhood. And that was the house I grew up in from 1971 until 1978. You can imagine what I look like. This was the time I started to build things out of metal. Here's my younger brother and sister, my first 8 horsepower Briggs & Stratton go-kart. Built that in grade 11 at high school, age 15. And this is the street I lived on from 79 until 1984 when my parents kicked me out of the house. That was 20. And that is the house. There I am standing in the backyard of that house at age 17. We are coming upon my public school that I went to in the 1970s. It 
with the handy public pool next door. And now my high school. I actually liked high school. They had great shops, some smart teachers. I was the uh, darling child of the shops and I was allowed to do anything I wanted. I could come into other classes, I could work after school, I could just keep building and building. I'm most well known here for building my second go-kart from scratch with a 450 Honda motorcycle engine. This is where all my skills and abilities really took off and paid off for me in the future graduated from here in 1979. Fanshawe College. A school where I got a free scholarship to become a machinist because I had the highest technical achievement in the shop classes in the city of London. I graduated from there in 1983. And there it is, the courthouse where I had my hasty marriage with my now pregnant wife and my hasty divorce five years later with my ex-wife. That was my daughter inside there while, I, while we were standing in that courtroom. I'm back to my current neighborhood where I'm still living. the house I bought in 1984 when my parents kicked me out at the tender age of 23 because I didn't send $20 a month to the starving Ethiopians that my father wanted me to send because he's a control freak. So I bought this little pink house on Oakdale Street for $65,000 in a nice quiet neighborhood nearby. <clears throat> I then proceeded to produce my family. There's my daughter. My newborn son is on the right. He's 19 now. And my daughter, the one that you know who tried to start my dump truck, who's now 21. In February of 1996, my backyard shop burnt down because a customer tried to hide the fact that his gas tank was leaking and well, I lost everything, no insurance. So this is the garage I built back then. Took but as you can see here with a photo of my old garage, I busily set to work to try to become rich, fixing lawnmowers and appliances and air conditioners in my backyard. There I am at age 24 after I had just finished building my biggest project ever at that point in time a handmade 1935 Mercedes-Benz SS 500k sport coupe just like the ones Hitler used to drive proudly showing off my creation standing beside my old garage here are some construction pictures of what it looked like as I was building it And that's me with my son in 1999.